the narcissist wants to dehumanize you. The narcissist will strip away everything about you that makes you human. They will deprive you of positive human qualities. They will manipulate you into accepting behaviors that you would otherwise recognize as immoral or unfair. There is no regard for your well-being, feelings, needs or your boundaries. The narcissist does not recognize you as a separate being with your own thoughts and feelings. You are an object or an extension of them. A negative extension of which all of their negative traits and trash is dumped onto. If you confront the narcissist and make them aware that you find their rules and behaviors to be immoral and unfair, they will always have justifications or excuses. But there is no justification. There is no excuse. You are human and they have no right to dehumanize you. But this is what they are trying to do. The narcissist wants to dehumanize you. It gives them a sense of power and control. It gives them narcissistic supply. Any time that the narcissist reduces you to being a single characteristic, they are dehumanizing you. They may also be projecting their own insecurities or flaws onto you. Of course, they are not going to accept responsibility or accountability for this either. Narcissists cannot self-reflect or look within. They do not acknowledge what they have done wrong, which leaves them unable to learn or grow. This is why they are arrested at such an emotionally immature state. They will deny any responsibility or accountability for their premeditated dehumanization process. They will shift the blame onto you. Now you must accept responsibility and accountability for the result of everything that they have done to you. And when you think about it, it really makes no sense. Narcissists are very controlling people. They have to be in control of everything. So you might be thinking, how could they possibly come to the conclusion that with all of their control over you, you are still responsible for their actions. But as illogical as it may sound, it somehow makes sense in their minds. Deep down they know that they have guided you for their dehumanization process, using manipulative tactics, forms of mind control and gaslighting. But they can never acknowledge this fact because they have to protect their image, their reputation. Narcissists have to portray themselves as this flawless character who can do no wrong. They cannot accept responsibility for anything. It is too painful for them. Dehumanization is a part of the cycle of abuse in your life. You were dehumanized as a child by your narcissistic parent or caretaker what helped you to defend yourself and survive for your childhood can often become a handicap now that you have reached adulthood narcissists are sadistic emotional predators they sniff out and then target your vulnerabilities The narcissist will take control of your body, mind and soul, depriving you of your hu positive human qualities, stripping away everything that makes you human. The narcissist will sabotage your career. 
You are not considered to be human, so you do not need to work. You do not need to make money. The Narcissus will give you scraps here and there, like putting fuel in a fuel tank or feeding a cat or dog. When you are starving, the Narcissus will feed you. You do not need any food of your own. But you can be sure that what the Narcissus do does give you will be the bare minimum. The Narcissus will isolate you. They will do this by sabotaging your friendships and relationships, enforcing fly monkeys and creating a smear campaign. You are not considered to be human, so you do not need friends or relationships. Only humans need that. You are not considered to be human, so it doesn't matter. The narcissist will sabotage your hobbies and interests. They will tell you that you don't make any time for them and you are selfish by spending time on your hobbies and interests. They will also criticize your talent and performance and make you believe that you are useless and you should just give up on whatever it is you are trying to accomplish. You are not considered to be human. So the narcissist is thinking, why do you need to have hobbies and interests? Fun? You don't need to have fun. You are not human. You are an inanimate object. You are a robot built to serve me to give me the attention and validation that I need. Anything else is irrelevant. Your desires, needs and wants, your satisfaction and fulfillment, your happiness, how does that benefit me in any way? The narcissist has to dehumanize you so that they can keep all of the sources for themselves, for their mission. Your purpose in life is only go going to interfere with their plan for themselves. So you have to be objectified. You have to be seen as a pet, a robot or a slave. You are there to serve the narcissist. You are there to give them attention and to validate their image. You are there for them to step on so that they may achieve their goals and dreams. Your purpose is to support the narcissist and watch them as they enjoy their lives. The narcissist doesn't consider that you need to be happy, satisfied or fulfilled with your life. Because the narcissist doesn't consider you as human. Over time you will find that you no longer have anyone you can talk to. Your empathy is eliminated as you cannot remember what it is like to emotionally connect or be vulnerable with someone. Love becomes a distant memory. Sex becomes a chore, a process to serve and pleasure the narcissist while you feel drained and exhausted. If the narcissist doesn't want to have sex, they will not consider you. In fact, any kind of affection. If it doesn't serve the narcissist, if it doesn't make them feel how they want to feel, it is not going to happen. You are not human, remember? 
everything you do is designed to serve the narcissist. So if they don't want it, they will withhold sex from you. Further dehumanizing you to the point where you become a lifeless robot. Your true self, your identity, all becomes a distant memory as the narcissist gradually deprives you of everything that made you, you. You stop doing all of the things you used to love doing. The things that made you who you are. The things that created your identity, your personality. It may have been art, sports, writing, whatever it was, the narcissist had to sabotage it. They were envious of your satisfaction and fulfillment with your hobbies and interests. They were jealous because they felt that these hobbies and interests were taking you away from them. Same thing with friendships and relationships. They were envious of your happiness in those friendships and relationships and they felt jealous as though they were taking you away from them. The narcissist is thinking You do not need to have your own hobbies and interests. Why waste your time? You are not going to be one of the best. So what's the point? You do not need friendships and relationships. You do not need the attention, the validation or the love. And you should not be giving your time and attention to these people. That time and attention is meant for me. You are alive to serve me and you do not need anything of your own. By the end of the dehumanization process, you are left with nothing. Your friendships and relationships have been eliminated. You have been pushed to give up on your dreams, give up on your hobbies and interests. You might be out of work and have no motivation to start work again. The narcissist may have drained you of your finances and drained the life out of you, deprived you of your positive human qualities, leaving you lifeless and miserable. Sound familiar? Yes. The narcissist is known to be lifeless and miserable. The narcissist is known to lack real positive emotions. They cannot experience genuine happiness, love, with deep emotional connection. They do not feel empathy or consideration for you. They cannot be satisfied or fulfilled with anything in life. It seems that the narcissist envy of you has driven them to take away the very qualities that may made you who you are. If they can't have those, those qualities, then why should you? If they can't have those hobbies and interests, if they can't have that career, if they can't have those friendships and relationships or that money, then why should you? Anything good or positive you have is only a reminder to the narcissist of everything they fail to achieve. Your positive qualities and interests caused a narcissistic injury. It triggered them to hate and envy you. And that is why they had to strip away everything 
that made you human.